yeah, I've definitely talked about this before. You know, it's actually more common than I thought. Uh, I know more multiple people who have the exact same story of like a girl who comes into your life and appears to be like really eager to be your friend, your best friend even. And basically you just randomly starts, like your relationship goes from zero to a hundred really quick, even though you're literally just platonic friends. I've heard to varying degrees of severity, you know, I've heard like small stuff like, oh my God, she tried to steal my boyfriend. Oh my God, she like bought an entire closet of clothes just like mine, like very baseline stuff. I had a teacher whose sister literally almost got murdered by her roommate because her roommate literally wanted to be her. Some of y'all are really that crazy. And like part of me like wants to believe that these people are like so mentally ill that they misinterpret all the great things that make you amazing. I think they just are like, mm, that's amazing. Let me copy paste. And there's just like a disconnect between what's normal. That's what I really hope it is. But you know, like all this is coming from a perspective of someone who has already been through it. Like I already have, like hindsight is twenty twenty. I, I'm forgiving, I'm forgetting. But the thing is like when you're in it, it's so, so scary. Like I saw it once firsthand where like a girl started posting pictures the same way this other girl did. And this girl that she was copying was like a white girl with blonde hair, blue eyes. And she was very much not that. It was deeply, deeply unsettling because it was it just became super obvious. She was literally trying to become her. And the craziest thing is like, when you're going through this, you will tell other people because it will be one of the craziest things in your entire life. Like it starts off as like this really cutesy, happy, like, wow, I really met my person. I really met this friend who's really down for me like that. No, you've actually met one of the most like secretive ops in the entire world. And I think that these people are more likely to come into contact with you if you don't have strong boundaries or if your boundaries are really pliable around people you like. So I think that's a lesson to learn because at first they will appear to be someone that you like very much. Oh, beautiful. And another aspect of this relationship, if you weren't already weirded out, is they will try to separate you from other people that care about you, like your other, your friends and your family. They will somehow convince you that they hate you or they don't want what's best for you or they're praying for your downfall in some way and keep you from speaking to them about it. Basically just anything they can to keep them, keep you in their corner and no one else's. I never think, I ne it's never healthy to have like a really, really possessive friend. Like you are, we are literally not dating. Why are you acting like it? I don't like to like bring this stuff up in conversation because like it is like an interesting thing that happened but it's also too relatable to people like this has happened to probably at least one person you know and it's a woman ask a woman 